What's going on, Iguana Nation? It's yours truly, Iguana Man. And we are out here at the one and only Air Gun One. Today, we have our Umaric Scotlet. She's not doing too well, y'all. I think I broke a seal, all right? I don't know how, I don't know why, but I know the man that knows the answers and knows how to get her back in working order. Follow me. Right. Mr. Waterman. Mr. Pablo. Nice to see you again. How nice are you doing, Mr. see you as well, man. So, we got a problem, man. What's going on? The Umri Scotlet, for some reason, I think she's leaking air, man. Okay. The reason I say that is I fill her up, I can use her for my jobs, but an hour or two later, I, I realize that the pressure goes all the way Drops. under a thousand. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's a big leak, though. Yeah. If, when it's a minor leak, you can manage it. I mean, if you lose a thousand PSI in a couple days, it's not a big deal. But when you're losing a thousand, two thousand PSI in a couple hours. I looked up a bunch yeah. of stuff online on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know anything about fixing these guns or where to even start. So I figured I might as well give you a holler. Not a problem. And I know you're the man with we the knowledge. Not a problem. Thank you very much. If you want, you can check her out right check quick. Yeah, I was worried, man. That's my baby right there. Yeah, zero, yeah. It's just totally empty. Oh, she's at zero? <laughs> it's at zero. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, totally zero. It's just there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Check that out. No air at all. Zero air, so, so that is no we, good. We take care of it. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, oh, so man. What, what do you want me to do? You want me to uh, keep it in the way it is? Or you want me to take it to the next level? Because I gotta take it apart. And uh, since the moment that I'm gonna put my hands on it, uh, if you want, we can take it to the next level. So you're saying while you're in there trying to figure out where the problem is, you can probably upgrade it? Oh, 100%. Yeah? Yes, sir. What would be some of the modifications you, uh, you would recommend? We can go for a bigger tank. We can go for a modified um, tank cover. We can go for more power. We can go for more shot count and more power. It's up to you. I can show you one of the modified gauntlets over there. Sure, so I'd love to see it. you can see how they look. I'd love to see it, man. And if you want me to, um, you know, upgrade your gun, since the moment that I'm gonna be working on it, <laughs> I can start dropping the magic on this thing. And, uh, it's gonna look like this. Well, you know what, man? These iguanas are getting bigger. They're getting tougher. Well, you know so. what the point? They're learning. And then the, I know they're learning. And then sometimes you have to shoot further and further and further. Mm -hmm. and so you have to extend your range. That is true. That is true. This is a modified gun. Let me just put it back here. Okay, as you can see, on this gallon now, we got a 500 cc. Oh yeah, look at that. Right? Bigger tank. We got the modified hangar, so you don't have to remove this. We modified the hangar to accept the big bottle. Okay? So you got 500 cc of air. And on this case scenario, this gun is producing 46 foot pounds. 46 foot pounds is on 25 caliber territory. This is on 22. So your gun, let me pull this thing away because it's really hard to talk to. Um, your gauntlet from factory is going to be producing about 22, 23 foot pounds. Okay. Okay, so it's going to put an 18, 13 flying about 80, 90 maybe. This thing with this valve, with the hammer spring that I had, and the magic that I got on this thing, is producing about 46 foot pounds and it's putting the uh, 18, 13 at almost 11 foot. So higher foot pound uh, is better. Obviously, is well, that, explain that real quick. Depends, depends, depending on the application. <clears throat> Maybe you don't need that much energy. Okay. Okay, I'm killing foxes and coyotes this time. Mm, okay. So I'm putting, dropping an eye vision, going to the farms and night and killing coyotes with this. Uh, you know, coyotes is a big issue too on farms. Yeah. Um, so it's up to you. We can keep the same energy that you have in your gun, but increasing the shot count with a bigger bottle mm. or I can give it more power it's up to you so let's put it this way on 22 yours is 22 right? yeah on 22 caliber we can go from 22 23 foot pounds all the way to 45 so we can double the power on your hmm you know what 
Is there any way you can meet somewhere in the middle and maybe be at like 30 foot pounds? Uh, 30 foot pounds gonna be uh, 18, 13 pellet flying about 930, 940, which is right in the middle. It's gonna be extremely accurate and you can do 100 yard shots. Okay, okay, I think I think that would be good because I don't want something too strong. Mm -hmm. I don't want, you know, I wouldn't mind upgrading the power because these iguanas are getting smarter, they're getting tougher, right. and I'm gonna have to hit them further and hit them harder. With this tank, yep. half a liter tank, putting your gauntlet at 32, 33 foot pounds, you're gonna gain 100 shots. Okay. So if you're getting about 50 shots right now, Double you're, gonna, you're gonna go to 150 shots before it drops off the regulator. Okay, and also, we're gonna probably get about a good 50% more foot pound energy. You're gonna get another 50, well, another 30%. Another 30% foot and pound energy you can do uh probably between 150 to 160 shots before it drops off the radio okay 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 you know what after thinking about it for a minute real quick i think it's a good idea man yeah. we're gonna get more shots we're gonna get more knockdown power no, no, and no. you know our main thing over here is to take these iguanas out as humanely and efficient as possible so if we have more shots and we have more power mm -hmm. these iguanas ain't gonna stand a chance you can shoot them very, very, very long, very, very far <laughs> Dude, away. Pablo, you are the man. Thank you. I know my gun's gonna be in good hands. Um, just give me a call when uh, when and she's it's ready. Be ready in a couple of days. Car. Right. Right. Guys, if you guys want to get your gun modified, if you guys want to come to the store and check out the inventory, there goes all the information right there. Air Gun One, your one-stop shop for all your air gun needs. They're local. Come to the shop. Take a look around. Pablo's here. He's very knowledgeable. He knows a thing or two about guns, guys. Look at look at look at all this stuff he has over here. So if you're just getting into the sport, or you need a repair, or you want to buy a new toy, Pablo's your man. And Air Gun One is your store. Some air guns up there for youth. Very nice. We got this thing right here. This is a, a Benjamin 357 caliber. Woo! That's a big boy right there. Then of course they have all your PCP refill needs right there. They got scuba tanks, they got hand pumps, they got compressors, y'all. And if you need a little stabilization or some other accessories, of course, they do have some shot sticks, they got some slings, and they do have a rifle carrying case that you can secure your tool until you're ready to use it next. Now, if your gun gets dirty, or you want to tune it up a little bit, they do have accessories for that as well. Okay, as you can see, they got some gun cleaning tips and kits. They got some patches. And they have some stuff to... Oh. And they have some stuff to repair. Clean your guns. Now, if you just, you got some, you know, some youngins and you want to just do some target practicing, of course, they do got some nice little rifles, different colors of your choice. And of course, they do have some heavier stuff for pesting or more serious target practicing. They got this .77 caliper right there. It looks really, really nice. They got this X-Pup and they got a couple other things for the youth. It's good to get the kids into shooting at a young age. Uh, it's always good to have them hunting, outdoors, spending time with you. And of course, they're gonna be more familiar with weapons just in case of an emergency. Right here, we got some pellets. Right here, we got some BBs. We got some extra magazines for various gauntlets. Look, Boomerang Scotlet extra mag right there. And of course, there are some Bulldog mags, some Beemans, some Gamos. And over here. And over here, we're starting to get to my favorite parts, y'all. We got the wide variety of Gamos and other brake barrels different brands, Umerix, Benjamin, and of course, one of my top-down favorite brands is the Gamos. Now, if you're gonna get a Gamo, get a Swarm. You're probably asking, what does a Swarm mean? You get that 10-shot magazine right there. Look at that. So all you do is load that up, and every time you break the barrel, it's gonna cycling a new round, and this way, you can get on your target a lot quicker. We got another one right here. We got the Swarm Whisper. We got the Swarm Magnum. <laughs> now, 
Now, if you need a secondary weapon, all right, this is the spot right here. Got some air pistols. Umarix. Daisy. We got a camo. <laughs> we got a crossman. And we got that big boy Umarix right there. Other accessories too. They got a nice little knife collection as well. It's always good to have a blade on you just in case you need to cut something or if you're in a sticky situation, it can definitely help you out really quick. And of course, they do have a variety of airsoft guns right here, y'all, with some ammo, pistols, rifles, and they have a little machine gun right there, probably a fully auto or a, oh, a fully auto, yep. Okay, guys, and then we're gonna get to the more serious side, y'all. We have some PCPs right here. They got Umarix gotlets. You, Pablo, you have any in stock, gotlets? Gauntlets, I got uh, 22 coming. Okay. 25 is out of stock everywhere. I can get them from now. Okay. Uh, I got 17, 177 is in stock, and I got 22 is in stock. Okay. Probably later to the end of the afternoon. All right. So they're they're on their way, guys. If you guys want to get a gauntlet, this is a, a real affordable, economical way to get into the PCP game. They just go for about 300 bucks. Some they go for under 400 dollars. So definitely, uh, if you want that, there you go. Then we have check it out. Got this beautiful Benjamin right here. Look, an Armada. That's a beast right there. And then right here, guys, check it out. Check it out, all right. We got this bullpup style rifle. We have a Diana Storm Rider. We got a, a Gamo Urban. I didn't even know they made PCPs. This is my first time seeing it right Those here. made in England. Made in England? Yeah, they're very good. Yeah? The Walter, the, the, um, the one at the bottom. Yeah. <clears throat> the bullpup is a Walter. Uh, it's made in Germany. They're very good guns. Very nice. I like them. That they're they're nice and compact. You yeah, know. Super compact. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very very that, nice, I man. Like that, side That's that one up top looks crazy. And check this out right here. They just got a, a wide variety of different guns from different manufacturers, and you guys can actually come to the store yourself. Oh, I see. That's a fifty. Can can that that can shoot arrows, right? Yeah, that's the one that you can shoot arrows, or you can shoot a um, also shotgun, like shotgun type um, pellets. I mean, uh, lead shot. Yeah? Small like game. Look, 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 look what it says on the box. Small game, medium game, and large game. So I guess depending on the different ammo and stuff yes, like that, you, you gotta can, take down stuff. Uh, there is a video on YouTube, a Dragon person ball. with one of those shooting arrows, killing a cave ball for the way. Oh my God. Yep. That thing. Yep. yep, yep, yep. I seen that too. They, they also took down hogs That's right. and some deers with it. That's hey, right. Buffalo is huge. That's yeah. crazy, y'all. Look at That's it. It looks like it's got three barrels, but I'm guessing two of those are just uh, air reservoirs. Yes, that's right. But <laughs> that is absolutely insane. It's a beautiful gun. It's got open sights on it. I'm pretty sure you can mount whatever optic you would like check it out right there y'all this is and then look after you get your gun or you already got your gun you need ammo right don't go online and wait two weeks to get your ammunition check it out ammo for days my friends ammo for days beautiful All right, guys, if you guys want to come over here and check out the store, look at the guns, purchase some ammo, or ask any questions, there goes all the contact information right there. So, Pablo, yes, sir. we've been hunting the, the Barracuda um, Hunters, That's right. but we want to switch it up a little bit because I noticed that they're not hollow tip or hollow. I noticed that they're not hollow point. Is there any kind of ammunition from Barracuda that you could recommend that I try? If you're going to shoot long range... Close range, close range, 30 close yards range, or less. Well, the Hunter Extreme is one of the best pellets you can get. The Hunter Extreme? That's right. Like it, 22 or 25? Oh, uh, 22. 22 let me see what I these... I like this. I like the sound of it, but let me see. They say H&M, Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Uh, those are 18.52 grains. You see that they uh, they're segmented. So they're going to open up, they're going to expand. Ooh. So this is one of the deadliest pellets that you can buy today. Really? If you want to do long range, I recommend the regular Barracuda. 
Yep, we have those. Okay. We have those. Those are extremely good for long range. But for the problem that we're medium range, this is the best. The problem that we're running into is we're seeing giant alpha males. Yes. And they're really close. They're like thirty yards or less. And they 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 re they require some knocking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> this it. is it right here. Yes, oh wow! Look yeah. at that. 165 hollow power expansion. Yes, sir. And I see it right there. It's kind of, it's kind of got like an X dome on it right That's there. Right. It's a hollow tip, any segment. You recommend these? I recommend it 100%. All right, perfect, man. I'm gonna take these with me. Mm -hmm. Get another one right here. And guys, if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to come to the store, look at the guns, you want to buy some ammo, or you just want to ask some questions, here's the store right there, Air Gun One. There goes all the information. Uh, Pablo, he's actually right there. And he's here... Um, Wednesday through Sunday. He's here Wednesday through Sunday. All day. All day. All day. Give him a call. Come into the store. Stop by, y'all. And get exactly what you need to get whatever job you need done. There's so much stuff in here, y'all, that you just got to come and see it for yourself. So this is what's going on, man. We're taking the iguanas down perfectly with the air rifles, but right. some of them are kind of still kicking, and we're out in the field. We want to just put them out quick, and we don't want to waste no air or no ammo. Do you have a a, a, a pistol or something like that that you can recommend? Need a finisher? Yeah, a fin exactly, a finisher. Close quarter. Yep, just, yep, okay. yep, close quarter. I believe Wee. might be the, this might be the perfect one. Where? Let me see. Something like the Gamo P25. Gamo. It's a blowback yeah. action, some metal slide, blows back. Uh, you get about 450 feet per second with lead pellets, no VBs, pellets. <clears throat> so as a finisher, it might be one of the best ones. Yeah? Uh, because wow. the other ones, keep in mind, the other ones, they usually they shoot BBs. Yeah. And the one that shoots pellets always performs better, it got more power, more knocking than power, more energy. Okay, that makes so sense. So I, I believe that might be uh, the best one. Okay, cool. And it, it so it shoots 0.77s. 1.77 pellets. Actual pellets, not those That's little uh, lead, copper beads. Lead pellets. That's okay, right. cool. And it's got a it's got a 16 pellet double mag. That's right. It's a dual magazine. Nice. Okay. So you get eight rounds on the top of the magazine, and the magazine holds another eight round on the bottom. So you can just flip the magazine upside down and keep shooting. Okay. And yeah. uh, 450 FPS right there. That's enough for the finish. Yeah, close range yes. right there. Very, yeah, very good. close range will, just to put it out. Down, yeah. All right, sweet man. Well, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. I'm really glad I came in here, and I'm really glad you're able to help me out. Not a problem. Because I would have, I would have been on the internet just looking for days and Reading not and researching and not and knowing. And like. you know, time is money, man. I need this thing ASAP, and I don't have time to wait for shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that right there, and mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna see how well it performs in the field. Great. Thanks a lot, bud. Put them in the bag. Put them in the bag. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh -huh. Huge shout out to Pablo. I came in here within five minutes. He already recommended me the perfect finisher and I'm going to be able to take it home today and use it in the field. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you guys have any questions, you guys want to come visit the store or if you guys want to come visit the store, there goes all the information that you need right there. Air gun one, serious air guns for serious hunters, serious. There you go right there. Air gun one. Serious air guns for serious shooters. Your one-stop shop for all your air gun needs. I'm just gonna I'll just I'm just gonna just buy some ammo off you real quick. <coughs> well, we got the pistol, that's good. But now we need some ammo. We need some ammo. We're not gonna need anything too crazy. No. Because it's it's close it's literally close range. Yes. So we're gonna get the uh, crossmans, the standard crossman premier. Okay. Seven point nine grains hollow points. They're gonna do the job. Alright, perfect, man. Here Thank you. CO2, we got some pellets. All right, everything I need. Look at I that. So. Yeah. Look at that. All right, cool. Well, we're going to take this. We're going to go to the job and uh, we're going to see if we can put them in the bag. That's the same gun that we saw, bro. Look, it's got the it's got the PCP barrel in the back. It's got the PCP tank in the back with the gauge. So that right there is basically like a semi-automatic air rifle ar dude that is fire so basically once you load it up right there and you fill the tank and you sight it in you're gonna probably get like 30 shots back to back without reloading or cocking dude mm. that's sick you like that one yeah no, no, fire. Let's, let's ask pablo what he thinks about it 
Because we're if we do guys get a gun like this, we're not going to be using it for long range. This is all 30 yards or less, y'all. This is all just real qu quick combat because we're going to spots and we're seeing a bunch of small iguanas like within 10 yards from us. And it's, it's kind of hard to pick them off one by one with uh, the single shot uh, air rifles. So we figure, why not get a semi-auto for close range? It makes sense. A lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. It's going to save us a lot of time. Yep. And we're going to be able to put these iguanas in the bag. Exactly. It's going to save us a lot of time. And we're going to be able to put more iguanas in, in the, the bag. bag. For close range, I mean, as long as for close quarters, it's going to work. Yeah. Okay, we're, talking about, we're talking about 30 yards or less. Well, I will suggest 30 feet. 30 to 40 feet. We're talking about like 30 feet or less. That's right. Just real close range because we're going That's to the right. jobs and sometimes there's like there's like five small iguanas like 10 feet away from us. That's right. It's going to work perfect. This gun is going to shoot about 700 feet per second on a light 22 pellet. You get 30 round magazine, semi-automatic action, PCP. Uh, you get about 100 shots per fill before it drops off the regulator. So it's going to be a good tool. As long as it's for close quarters. Uh, close quarters only, yep. yep. Okay, keep in mind that uh, this gun is producing about 14 foot pounds, if I'm not wrong. So for close quarters, it's going to work. Okay. Yep. It's very easy to use. It's got a 30 round magazine. Ooh. Ooh. Which is belt fed. Ooh. So you lock 30 pellets on the belt. Okay. And just push it right back. back. Close the magazine. Bada bing, bada boom. Insert the magazine. It loads like a regular AR-15, uh -huh. and after that you got 30 rounds of rock and roll, so you can shoot a pass you can pull Yes, sir. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, we're just we're just for close range, because the obviously the rifle we can't shoot like 30 feet or less. You know, that's right. Our shots are off. This and, is and ideal for close range, open sights. You don't need to put a scope on something that is meant for close range. So you got the peep sight on the rear, the front sight, uh, the flip sights if you need to. Uh, uh, put the gun in a bag or something like that. So they yeah. very, they mm -hmm. very, very, very handy for close quarter. Yes, they are. Cool, cool. I see it's got a nice little PCP tank right there. Mm -hmm, that's right. It's and made it's by six hour. Six hour. Six hour. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be perfect for what we need. We just need something uh, for close range and something that shoots a lot. So that's we don't nice. have to take time reloading. Yes. If we see iguanas that are like, you know, 5, 10, 15 feet away, we can just take them out you real can, quick and clear the area. multiple targets very quickly as long as they close with this one. No problem. Sounds like a winner, Ninja? It does. All right, Pablo, you're the man, put man. Put in the back, sir. Yeah, we're going to put him in the back <laughs> yes, for sure now. Woo. Yes, All right, guys, so we just got this new rifle, guys. Reason being is we need something for close quarters. We need something that can take out multiple targets. We need something to teach these iguanas a fat lesson and put them in the bag. And there she goes right there. All right, Ninja. Go ahead and grab her. Grab your baby. Take her home, Ninja. Give her, give her some love. Oh, she's, she's going to get pound. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to give some iguanas some love, too. Yeah, sir, it's going to be a lot of love going along. All right, so uh, we're going to go to the job. You guys stay tuned. You guys want to see how this gun performs in the field on smaller iguanas or iguanas in close range targets. Guys, this is the video right here. And a uh, huge shout out to Pablo from Air Gun One. One. We came here, we didn't really know what to expect, what to get. He had everything lined up and uh, he was able to uh, give us his professional opinion on what he thought about using this gun in close range quarters. And another good thing is we didn't have to wait three weeks for That's the gun right. to come in the mail. Wow. <laughs> we, right. we have iguanas that need to be taken out today. We need to put them in the bag right now. Right now. So if you guys wanna come Buy a couple things for your pesting needs. Get these iguanas under control. Teach them a fat lesson. And of course, put them in the bag. Guys, Air Gun One, one stop shop. Pablo's the man Thank right you there. For Thank you. Absolutely. You guys come here, take a look at the beautiful store, all the ammo, everything you need. And you guys can just go home with exactly what you need, same day. Exactly. Don't gotta wait. No waiting. You go home. See the iguanas, teach them a fat lesson. And bust their mata. And <laughs> put them in the bag. Yeah, buddy.